Happening today, a somber day for the entire South Florida law enforce enforcement community. Friends, family, and fellow officers saying their final farewell to their brother in blue. Officer Jermaine Brown was tragically killed last week during an on-duty accident. Today, he'll be laid to rest. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with more Ted. Maribel, officers here are calling this a celebration of life uh, that is going on right now inside of the church behind us. All those people you see outside that, it's an overflow crowd. Uh, they're watching what's going on inside the church on a monitor. As you can imagine, this is a very difficult day for family and friends of Officer Brown. He was a 15-year vet who died in the line of duty. Today, he's being remembered as a big man who had your back. A sad, solemn procession as officers from around Florida accompany the body of Miami-Dade police officer Jermaine Brown. Brown's wife, fellow Miami-Dade Sergeant Janine Brown, along with their family, walked with his casket into Sweet Home Missionary Baptist Church in Cutler Bay for his funeral. Brown was killed last week after his ATV crashed while on patrol in southwest Miami-Dade. Brown's funeral is called a celebration of life, with county leaders and those who knew him remembering all he brought to the community as both an officer and family man. It's impossible to wrap our minds around the fact that he's no longer here, that he is not just there around the corner, ready to come uh, to our aid, ready to spread a bit more of his joy, uh, his own unique sunshine, into uh, our sometimes too difficult lives. I'm going to fail you today. I am going to fail you because the words that you seek, I cannot produce. The comfort that you yearn, I cannot deliver. The answers that you're looking for, I do not have the response for. <laughs> I'm only human. Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez choked back tears as he remembered his fallen officer as a man with a calling to protect his community. He pledged to stand with his family. And right now you're looking at officers lining up here. These are motorcycle officers who will escort his body from here for burial. He's going to be buried later on today in a private ceremony. Live in Cutler Bay, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.